Hello, hello, hello. Here with another message. Hi, I'm Light. How are you this evening? So, <clears throat> I'm getting all these messages. <laughs> well, about um, divine unions and partnerships. Um, being a divine feminine. A feminine. Fuck me, I can never say that. Divine feminine. <laughs> na, na, na. Na, na, na. Anyway, it's interesting because <clears throat> yesterday I was in a totally different energy. Um, I was in the energy of um, obsession. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, because I was, I'm obsessing about a divine connection. I was obsessing about it. it, it it's what I'm feeling is this, that, blah, 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 this whole black energy, sending this and spells and sex magic and all this stupid shit. And uh, today I have a a very calm and secure spirit. Um, because, well, well, because I do, I do because I I have faith and trust in God. Excuse me, I'm gonna get some. Some chapstick shit. I've been using this for my buddy Save the Bees. Um, he makes these. He has his own bees and hives and shit like that. And we'll get into that later on because there's a lot. I'm into healing and you know everything of the earth and just being everything that's grown here on Gaia. And Mother Earth is all we need. Another time, as I hit my e-cig, right? <laughs> anyway, a calm and secure because by knowing that what's meant for me will be for me when it's a vibrational match. And when God says it's time. But when we're a vibrational match as well. So, as I focus on myself... And what I need to fix in myself in my part of the journey and in what God has shown me what my goal thing is, you know, leave the detail to others. I get that card I pull. I don't pull cards. I just like play with them and flip out or whatever it's called, whatever. So, <clears throat> you know, they're like, you know, have your focus and your intent on your dream and what you want to do and focus on that. You know, stay high vibrational. And when it's ready, when it's ready, then it'll be yours. But leave the details to others because there's things being worked out. You know, if you think it's your, your twin flame and, and it was the volatile relationship, right? The volatile uh, contract that you had. Um, with with this person you're thinking is your twin flame and they're the one, the one, the one, the one, you know, until you meet another one. And something different happens, you know, and you're more vibrationally matched, right? Doing the work, elevating, they're going through the dark, you know, their ascension or whatever, you know. You guys are coming up together because it's coming time. But again, it goes back to the choice. The choice of... Do I want to accept this path and this union and this and that? You know what I mean? We could stay so stuck in our, in our, in our three D in our heads. I don't even want to say three D in our heads because that's where it all is. It's all in our own mind, in our own head. I'm going on a different route, but I'm going with it because that's what's coming up. Um. But I want to do touch on the, the blocking of how. I block. I was blocking myself by my obsession, which was keeping it away. My codependency. Coming at it from an, an obsessed, clingy, um, 
way instead of letting it naturally unfold, which pushes the other one away for whatever reason. Maybe it's their triggers or, it's, or you know, it's just what it is. It's not a vibrational match because now I've lowered my vibration, right? So I'm not vibrating on that frequency. So I'm keeping it from myself. Just focus on yourself, you know, and... and <clears throat> I don't know, I just, today I just had a different, uh, a different calmness. I'm like, you know what? And, and, it, and it helps to show your partner that you believe in it. Maybe they're unsure, and your unsuredness reflects on them. Your assuredness will reflect on them as well. They need time to look through this. If you push too hard at something, it, you push it away. Right? Like a force field. Um, and you know, and, and what my, my message to me from Spirit in this, and I wrote this down, I said, it's bigger than this. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than, than sex and the 3D love feeling part of it. It's bigger than all that. It's a bigger picture, you know, it's a spiritual, it's a divine plan, it's a divine this, so get back on focus, get back in focus, get back in focus, you know, keep going. I started to stray, not really stray, but take my focus off, so it was going to lead me in a different direction, I, I'm not, I don't want to be in alignment, with. I have to be in alignment with that which I want, like you already have it, you know it's coming. Let the detail, leave the detail to others, leave the detail to God, to your divine partner. And going back to the, the you know, the quote unquote twin flame, like people want to think about, um, instead of uh, that, the volatile one, um, if they're not doing the work, you don't want that. That's not meant for you anymore. When they heal, You've already moved on. There's another divine partner for you that is doing the work that's healed. You know, that's doing the work. That's more of an, a vibrational match to you. So that's your union. And it'll be stronger because it'll be on a more healed level. It won't be a trauma bond anymore. It won't be a learning lesson session anymore. They had the opportunity. You know, maybe I, I know on my journey, I had the opportunity to be where I'm at not exactly where I'm at right now because a couple of weeks ago I wasn't at this level and it keeps getting the more I'm, I come into contact physical contact with um, I'm just going to call him my divine partner um, one of my divine partners you know what I mean but right now this divine partner and I are we're becoming I'm healing so much faster than more I'm getting that high pitch. I'm healing so much rapidly the more we're, we're in contact. And it's not the face, it's not a fearful, not on my end anyway. I don't know about my divine partner's end. I just know about my, my end of it because that's all I can do. Theirs is theirs, mine is mine, and then there's an ours. Okay? But individually have to do what we have to do on our ends. Because when you when you come into this more of a healed place of union in, in a divine partnership, um, the baggage and all that stuff. Mm -mm. Because now this is bliss. This is this is the coming together. This is having to go through all the other things. And the hurt, and the, the fucking pain, and the hurt so heart and gut wrenching, you know, to be able to come to this union, the healed, the true divine union, the kingdom marriage, the kingdom union, to show people the way from a place of healed, from a place of love, and you go out together. And you do your path, your mission, or what, however you want to call it. And and bringing each other's strengths and 
elevating each other, but where one is weak, the other is strong without judgment, without hatred, without belittling, because you're coming from a whole divine place. So allow the process to happen. Work on yourself because you're blocking it. I'm blocking it. It will happen. But we have to not be the block of it. That's what I'm doing, and this is my message. God's telling me it's a bigger picture. It's bigger than this. Get it together. What are you here to do? It'll come. You're blocking it. You're too clingy. You're in that old, old paradigm space. Well, there's no need for that. I have a knowing, and I have to show my divine, my divine, my divine, my divine partner that I trust in you. I trust in the process. I trust in this. I got you. I know you're scared. I am too. Somebody, you know what I mean? Whoever's called to, to do what it, what at whatever time you do that. So, anyway, that was part of it. Um, Um, yeah, it's bigger than this, folks. It's bigger than us, folks. You know? But I have that calm spirit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I wanted to touch on this, too. So, what I was saying before about taking the focus off of myself in off of the path um that's what brings in that cloudiness that confusion i was talking about in a different video i believe hopefully or on, or, or or on a post um yeah yeah confusion so yeah lowers my vibration and then keeps it out of alignment yeah i already did speak on that so hey i guess i did good this is just a short little video of something that god was working on me with for um, a divine union and divine partnership and always come from your 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 learning your lessons your deep deep rooted trauma bond love connections soul contract connections just send them love because you love them in your soul you know you do and they hurt you deeply but you hurt them too deeply one way or another or maybe not but generally, if it's a trauma bond thing like that, it, it's a both way. You know? Um, and <clears throat> I, like oh, I was saying before, like I was able to uh, more, more in this space, more of a healed space. I was able to come to the one that I thought I, I couldn't go on a drive in a car with that. I mean, you know the sex, the intimacy, the, the soul connection, the, the fun, the, the only one I can talk to, I felt like that I can relate to, you know, the, the one, you know, um, saw him and I did not, that was not, that was not the same person. That was not my masculine that I knew from before. It was really a trauma, 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 just in the fucking, in the thick of it. And I can't do the work for him. God will not allow me. He were not vibrationally matched. He can't be in my same field. So, um, but he was brought to my attention to in front of me to see that, to close that chapter, to know. Because in my heart, I just always held on to him so tightly. Because I love him and I wanted to be there and I made promises that I would do that. My contract is done with him for whatever reason. But somebody was placed strategically on my path at this moment. And I leave it to God. Because if it doesn't go any further than our friendship and what we have, then so be it. That's enough. Do I feel like it's something more? I feel, I believe like it really could be. But there's two people here. 
There's myself and there's him. What's meant for me will be for me when I'm vibrationally matched for it. So I'm taking this time and I'm allowing and I'm going with the flow and I'm just putting it out there and I'm letting God handle the rest. I'm just going to put it out there and let God handle the rest. That's all I could do. You know, and I'm calm about that and I feel good about that. I can move on. I will and then I'm going to leave the rest I'm going to do my best to leave the rest to God and the other you know people on their parts but I got to work on my part but if I'm still coming from that um, codependent um, clingy um, not self assured you know uh, space why would he want me it, isn't that what he's getting away from possibly now so you guys I know you could feel it you know it's coming get excited in that when it makes your heart sing when you think about it or maybe you just started talking to him again and, and they might be in another relationship or they might be tying up ends and you don't talk as much as you used to and you don't like the fact that you're even thought of because you're the third party now in a sense because maybe you're just talking. I mean, it's just, a, a, you know what I mean? Whatever. <clears throat> but they're thinking about you, so that makes it a third party, in a sense, you know? Take it however you want. Um, let it play out. and But always come from your integrity, because remember, you're the divine masculine, you're the divine feminine. So you come from a higher... You're more understanding. You understand what it is. You know you have a higher knowing and awareness than they do at the moment, because they're probably they're most they're most likely divines themselves, but they have a choice to step into their divinity, their divine, masculine or feminine or not. But we're not obligated to that, because we've done our work. We have a job. I don't want to say job, but you know what I mean. We have a we have our we have our purpose, our path, our reason here to harness the light, to show love, to bring love, the new earth, all of that. Well, we're the builders of that. There's mates. There's a male and a female for a reason. Partnership, twos, you know, families, communities, villages. I mean, my divine partner, I know what my mission is. I know what my path is. And it's not, I'm changing it. It's not to change the world. It's to prepare and build. It's to build the new earth. That's what my mission is. So my divine partner, that's going to be his mission as well. Maybe not exactly the same as mine. It is the same. I mean, I can't even say that because it just came to me like, when I say build, I mean literally building community. I mean like building homes, building gardens, building greenhouses, building, 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 whatever. Okay? Building. It's new earth. It's like-minded individuals who just want peace and love who have found and come home to their God self, to their divinity in them. We all play a crucial part at this time. We all do. None more than the other. Not one is better than the other. We're all the same. We're just in a different meat suit, a different body, playing out a different part of the same soul, the same light, the same energy. So just be love, right? Just be love. Write thank you on your water. Say thank you to your water. Thank you, body. And just know and get outside and get barefoot. Get outside and get barefoot. Get in the fucking water. 
I need to get in the fucking water. I don't care if it's just a few hours away. Just take me to the water. Anyway. Walk. Walking is great. Walk. Well, I'm not going to suggest to everybody to walk barefoot. Me, personally, my walking barefoot journey is, is for more than one reason. Right? I mean, it's for several. Uh, one, it it's helping to align my body, my spine, and my body back into my legs, back into place, and it's, and it's, um, and uh, making me mindful of my core, where I need to hold it, and I get to get out, and it's good for me, it's good for cardio, it's going to build my legs up, it's going to be overall good for me. The, I'm very thin, I need to gain weight. I'm not going to say I need to gain weight, I just don't even look at that anymore. Health is what I'm about, it isn't about yeah, I want to look good, but it really isn't about that too much because, you know, when you're beautiful on the inside, you're beautiful on the outside. Looks don't matter. I've been told, hey, you're not, is this a backhanded compliment or what? You're not the most beautiful woman. You don't have the best body. You're not the, you know, you're not the best, but you have this thing. That just, this thing about It just makes me so, I guess, at that time, irresistible. Um, I was in heat. I was in my 30s, so. Fucking heat. Boy, I was ripe. <laughs> That's funny shit. Anyway, I love you guys. You know, have a fucking great God night, and, and I love you, and I apologize for cussing. I don't really want to do that. Freaking A, man. Ah, life is good. This moment is fantastic. Just hold on to it. And I'll have you know. Well, I will have you know from here on out. Um, I'll be making sure to be mindful. I know that anything I do, I'm always sending healing light. But with, I'm going to be more mindful and intent. And have and set the attent intention before I shoot my videos. That I'm always sending... Reiki energy out to you to wherever you need it. Reiki does that anyway. It'll go to whatever you set your intent on what you want, but Reiki will go where it's most needed. It has an intelligence of its own. And if you don't know what Reiki is, Reiki's energy healing. It's a universal life force energy. It's spelled R E I K I. Please look it up yourself. Do your own research so you know. Reach out to me, reach out to a friend, reach out to whatever learn about it you'll know right away if it's something you're interested in i think we all should be attuned to it. we all are energy healers and i haven't forgotten about that and i've shot videos about that before but there's so much going on and and let me just um it's all going to tie in together trust me it's all the same thing and coming soon coming soon is my sow a seed teach the children please please this is a wonderful, wonderful thing from God and I and the help from all you beautiful people who share the same vision and dream as God and myself. Um, teach the children, right? You'll, you'll volunteer, maybe? I mean, um, I keep looking. I'm like, what is on my wall? And I'm like, no, there ain't nothing on my wall. It's a fucking counter. Duh. <laughs> Freaking duh. That was my thing last night. Did I tell you I had some beer? Anyway. I'm starting up my Facebook um, page. Is it a page? Group. Um, again. And I, and I sent a post out through there and I haven't really gone out and did it and I have one on Instagram as well I want to get started and be more active on but I don't really need to be that much active on it um, I'm going to shoot a separate video about it so I'll talk about it then um, I'll see you guys later I don't know when I mean what should I call this video <clears throat> being calm in the storm ships are coming in I don't know. We'll see. Peace, love, harmony.
I'm a fantastic idiot. Ta-ta, toodles, if you will. Peace.